Katie. I'm a dance instructor with School of Dance at the Des Plaines Park District. Thanks for joining in and I hope you enjoy the beginning level ballet class that we are offering. Um, grab yourself some sort of chair or a wall um, and if you want, if you have your ballet shoes, make sure you put them on. So then you keep in the habit of having your ballet shoes on during ballet class. We're gonna start facing, or no, we're gonna start with one hand on the bar. And let's go ahead and have one hand on the hip. And we're gonna always prepare, let me scooch back so you can see my feet. We're always gonna prepare low fifth, and then you bring your arms open, five, six, open, seven, and then you either can keep your arm out to the side or you can bring it down to your hip for a little bit more balance. We're gonna start with plies, which means to bend, and there's two different plies. There's a demi plie, which is a small plie, and then a grand plie, which is a large bend. So we'll start, I'm gonna go ahead and have my arm out to the side. You're gonna start with a small bend, and stretch, small bend, and stretch. And then grand plie, go ahead and just keep your arm there, and then make sure those heels come down, and then stretch. You're gonna do it again, really focusing on every single time you plie, that your knees are going over your toes. And then we stretch, plie, and stretch. You press relevant with those heels, and then lower out to second position. So we first started in first position, and now we're in second position. We have den, and stretch, and den, and stretch, and a little bit further down, and back up. And you demi and stretch and demi and stretch and stay nice and tall. Lift those heels and lower and then you bring your inside leg in and then tendu or point your left or your right foot in front for your fourth position. And you demi and stretch and demi and stretch. Knee staying open and back up. And you demi and stretch, demi and stretch, and then press your releve, big toes pressing down into the floor, and then lower down, do fifth. Same exact thing, you have two demis, and then really reaching the knees out to the side, and then two demis, and then press releve. And then we'll, let's go ahead and we'll squeeze our ankles at the end, and then try to find a balance. Maybe you lift your arms all the way up to the ceiling, and then you'll plie and finish. Good, let's go ahead and try it with music. Really reaching those knees. Pressing. 
body along with the lower body. Out to your second. Turn it out and close. Reach 
up, long legs making sure that they don't bend, reach it out, and back, plie, nice and tall on top, back to parallel, come to up, turn out, okay, close, keeping those hips nice and still, So now that we have warmed up our rotation a little bit and then did a little bit of a small tendu, we're going to go ahead and find our fifth position. So making sure that your heel is reaching towards your back toe. You're nice and tall, pulled up, lower abdominals are working nice and tall. And let's go ahead and have our arms out to the side for this one. You're going to tendu out and hooks, tendu out and close nice long legs and close and close and close and then you're just gonna hold so time to do one close two time to do three close four and five and six and seven you hold eight time to do back and close time to do back and close and five and six and seven hold eight time to do out and close Time you up and close and a in and a in and a in and hold and we'll just find our nice tall stand. All right, let's go ahead and do it with music. Find your fifth position. Arm open. Time and close. Time. to degages, which means to brush or to disengage. So we are brushing against the floor to disengage or separate our feet from the floor. I'll go ahead and face slightly away from you so you can see how my feet are working and then you can see the pattern of the legs. So you're going to be nice and tall facing the bar. You're going to have eight to one side. So brush, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll then transfer your weight to the other side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You then go to the right for four. Of one, two, three, four. And then another four. One, two, three, four. 
four, we have a two, a two, and then switching one, 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 one. You can definitely keep both hands on the bar. I was just showing the numbers that you are going to be dangling. Ready to try? All right, let's do it. Nice and strong brushes. Go up and close. Two. going to be doing the same combination that we did for our tongue in our fifth position. So we kind of have a head start of how it all works. Tempo might be a little bit different, but we can handle that. So you're going to be starting in your fifth position, nice and tall like we have been standing. And let's go ahead and just have the arm out to the side again. Yeah. Again, if you feel like you need to have your hand on your hip, go ahead and go for it. Making sure that you're nice and lifted is all I care about. So arm is out, nice and strong. You have out and close, out and close. You bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, and you hold. Out and close, out and close. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, and hold. I'm going to scoot forward so I can brush to the back. Go back and close. Back and close, bring it in, 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 and hold. You have one and a two, a three and a four, and a five and a six and a seven, hold eight. And then we'll finish. Good? And then we'll hop on over to the other side. Sound good? All right, let's go ahead and do it with music. Let me fix my bar. chair over like I do or if you're at the wall go ahead and just switch your arms. Good job. 
which means to prick. PKs are probably one of my favorites. You want to make sure when you're doing the PK that it feels like you're bouncing a ball. So you want to you make sure that it's an inflated ball, not a flat ball. Flat ball will just go boom. We don't want it to just hang out on the floor. We want a nice, big, buoyancy, bouncy ball. So boing, 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 yeah? All right, so we're gonna start in our fifth position. Hand on our hip for this one so you can really focus on the buoyancy of the bouncing of your toe. So you're gonna have a one, a two, a three, and close. A one, a two, a three, and close. A back, a back, back, and close. And a side, 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 close behind. So then we can reverse it. And a one, a two, a three, and close. And a side, 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 and close. A front, 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 and close. Side, 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 close, and front. And then we'll finish and we'll hop on over to the other side. All right, let's start that music. Six, seven, eight, you have a one, two, three. start in a nice tall first position you're going to reach your foot out front you're going to carry it draw a semicircle over to the side and then continue that circle to the back and then bring yourself back to first position first position for round jumps are your home base always want, want to make sure that you find that first position you do that again so finding the quarter of your half circle front open side carry it back, and then first. Then you go ahead and do a full half circle. Front, bring it all the way to the back, slide it through first. Front, carry it to the back, slide it through first, and then you're gonna lift it off the floor or on layer in the air, draw that circle off the floor, and then close it in your first. Then you reverse it, point to the back, draw over to the side, Continue the circle to the front and then close in your first. Then to the back and side and front and close. And half circle and front and half circle and front and lift up in the air. Circle, bring the heel forward and close. We're gonna go ahead and stretch over those legs and then reach it up and then Go ahead and stay where you are, but I want to show you this profile. You're going to lift up and back, making sure that you're not arching your and sticking your booty out. You want to lift from the chest and lift up and then open. You'll open the arm out to the side, circle into the bar and lift and then away from the bar and then lift and then finish. Then we'll go ahead and go to the other side. Good. All right, let's round and jump. Every single time. 
And now let's go ahead and stretch. And bring this head forward. Lift and lift up and back. And lift into the body. about the supporting leg, making sure that you're nice and tall and supported. Calf circle through first. And lift off the floor. Stretch all the way forward. Straight legs. Keep those straight legs as you lift up and back. Once again, my name is Miss Katie. Thanks for joining me in Beginner Ballet. The Des Plaines Park District wishes you to be safe, to be well, and to be active. For more information on classes offered, please click the link attached.